coming into your YouTube airwaves. I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man. And welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Von the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Von the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VonTheStatMan.com. These are some of the hot plays from NFL Week 6. So let's break it down. Just a quick recap off my fan duel where I turned $35 into $2,300 using my top players list. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, guys, so we got underdog fantasy pulled up, and we're going to go down and get our first pick. Now, for the first pick, guys, we got Josh Allen, and for his passing TDs, I don't believe he throws more than two passing TDs, so that's a bet that I would stay away from. And his passing yards, I don't like his passing yards as well, but they won't give you passing yards by itself because they know that's going to kill them. So they're, they're trying to make you take his pass yards and rush yards together. So I would stay away from that pick altogether as well. We want to go with his passing yards alone, but they don't have that pick. So we would stay away from him. Then you got Garrett Wilson, who has 58 receiving yards. Just off sheer volume alone, Garrett Wilson has become Aaron Rodgers' favorite target. But Buffalo's strength is stopping the pass, so that's another one that I would stay away from. And Cook, we're, we're looking for Cook to Cook in this game because Buffalo is going to have a hard time moving the ball, but I do believe they can run on this team. So Cook, we're going to take him for higher than 73.5 rush and receiving yards. Okay, guys, so we got three out of four correct. This is the reason why I tell people to play the flex because you're going to have more three out of four days than four out of four days. So you'll still make money. And and also, guys, Underdog is running a special. They will match you up to a thousand dollars. All you got to do is go over to Underdog, create you an account, sign up, use my code. They'll match you up to a thousand and they'll give you a free pick. So go sign up and join the winning team. All right, guys, so we got James Cook going over 73.5 rushing and receiving yards. And let me show you why I like this pick. All right, so I got props.cash pulled up. And as you can see, we're looking at James Cook rushing number. Now they got him at 56.5. And as you can see, he made it in three out of the last five games. But the reason why I like this matchup, even if you look at his head to head, he's only made it in one out of the last four, but this is very deceiving. Because last year, they didn't run it as much because they had Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis. Now they're more run-based. So this is how you attack the New York Jets. And if you go down and if you look at him this year in his last five games, look at his away games. He's made it out of his last five. Look at what he did, guys. He's made it in three out of his last five. Now, if you, we go down and we look at the New York Giants defense. The New York Giants defense, if you look at their rushing attempts, they give up 28 rushing attempts a game. They give up 119 rushing yards per game. So just rushing yards, I see him getting about 70 rush yards. So if we look at his rush and receiving, the Giants, like I said, they're giving up 119 rushing yards. But the way that you attack this New York Giants defense is you attack them right up the middle because they have Sauce Gardner. They have an amazing pass defense. And the Buffalo Bills is not really designed to just drop back and throw the ball. But I believe Allen will have to dump it off to Cook. I believe he gets at least 25 receiving yards. And I say he gets about 65, 70 rush yards. I think he gets close to 100 combined. So this 74.5 is a steal in my opinion. So this is the reason why we're taking him for more than 75.5 rush and receiving yards. If you like the video so far, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. Okay, guys, so we got prize picks pulled up. You can take James Cook's rush yards by itself. I love the 55.5. I also love the receiving at 15.5. I believe he gets both of these. If you combine it, then this really should be 71. But if you look at his combined, they got him at 75.5. So you're really losing five yards. And if you've played pick'ems long enough, this is really a dumb bet. 
they shouldn't have it as a five point over because we've seen games where guys get hurt in the third quarter. We've seen games where you lose by one point. So I would just stick with one of his bets, either either the rushing yards or the receiving yards. So let's just take the rush yards. If you haven't played on Parlay Play, you are missing out because they got some of the best picks in the industry. I love the value here, guys. And if you go over to Parlay Play, you use my code and sign up, they'll match you up to $100 and they'll give you an additional $5 and they'll give you a free protected pick. Go check this site out, guys. It's one of the best platforms out there. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get into the last pick. All right, guys, so we already got Cook. We got Cook for the rush yards. And again, you can take him for the receiving yards, guys. And also let me know in the comment section if you're liking this pick. And you can also let me know what picks you might be liking as well. So let's go over and get our next pick. So now let's get our last and final pick. And for our last and final pick, we're going to go over to pass attempts. And we can go down and we can look at Josh Allen. And as I said early in the video, this team is designed to run the ball more. So if you look at his past attempts, he hasn't thrown more than 30. He's finished equal to 30, but he hasn't gone over 30. And we got to check the injury report to see if Shakur is going to play. Because if he's not playing, they're going to be even more limited in this game. And I expect this to be more of a low scoring game, more of a field goal type of a game. I do like both of the field goal kickers in this game. So I like him to go under that but we're gonna take Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers is someone who just loves to pass the ball I believe he's the reason why the coach was fired because he wants to just throw 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 and I guess he wants different plays but if you can see he threw 50 something times his last time he threw 42 times before that and 35 times before that I don't expect him to throw 54 times but I do expect a 40 to 45 point pass attempt game so we're going to take Aaron Rodgers for more than 33.5 so guys that is going to be it and so we can go ahead and add Cook again so we had Cook for the rush yards so guys that is it you got Aaron Rodgers for more than 33.5 pass attempts and Cook for more than 55.5 rushing yards so guys that is it don't forget to win win that means give people what they want so you can get what you want and don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on Monday Night Football. And also, guys, my fan duel, I'm only going to do that on my Patreon. So if you want to look at my fan duel, sign up on my Patreon. That link is in the description section of this video. Love you guys. Just a quick recap for my Sunday NFL picks, guys. I got five out of six right. So as I keep telling you guys, I'm extremely hot with my picks. All right, guys, so let's get right back as into well. this video.